Welcome to Access Security Hybrid Identity. Hello everyone, I am Ng Tiong Chia, Microsoft MVP. Let's start with Hybrid Identity. Azure AD Connect will integrate your on-premise directory with Azure Directory. This allows you to provide a common identity for your users for Office 365, Azure, and SAS application integrated with Azure AD. Azure AD Connect will provide the following features password hash synchronization, assign in method that synchronizes a hash of a user's on premises AD password with Azure AD, pass through authentication, assign in method that allows users to use the same password on premise and in the cloud but doesn't require the additional infrastructure of a federated environment federation integration federation integration is an optional part of azure ad connect and can use to configure the hybrid environment using an on-premises adfs infrastructure it also provides ADFS management capabilities such as certificate renewals and additional ADFS server deployment. Synchronization responsible for creating a user's group on other objects as well as making sure identity information for your on-premises users and groups in matching the cloud. This synchronization also includes password hash. Health monitoring Azure AD connects health and provide robust monitoring and provide a central location in the Azure portals to view this activity. When you integrate your on-premises directory with Azure AD, your users are more productive because their common identity to access both cloud and on-premises resources. However, this integration creates the challenge of ensuring that this environment is healthy so that users can reliably access resources both on premises and in the cloud from any device. Password has synchronization. The properties that you are blocked from getting your work done due to a forgotten password is related to the numbers of different passwords you need to remember. The more password you need to remember, the highest the probabilities to forget one. Question and call about password resets and other password related issues demand the most help desk resources. PHS is a features used to synchronize user password from an on-premises active directory instance to a cloud-based Azure AD instance. Use this feature to sign in to services Azure AD DS. You sign in to a service by using the same password you use to sign in to your on-premises Azure AD in directory instance. Proverbs has synchronization help use to improve the probability of your user, reduce your help desk cost. Password True Authentication PDA Azure PDA is an alternative to Azure AD password hash synchronization and provides the same benefit of cloud authentications to organization. PDA allows users to sign in to both on-premises and cloud-based application using the same user account and password. User, when user sign in with using Azure AD, password through authentication validates the user password directory against an organization on premises active directory. Federation is a collection of a domains that have attached bridge trust. The level of trust may vary but typically include authentication and almost always include authorization. A typical federation might include a number of organizations that have established trust for shared access to a set of resources. You can federate your on-premise environment with Azure AD and use this federation for authentication and authorization. This sign-in ensures 
attacks or user authentication occur on premises. This method allows administrators to implement more rigorous levels of access control. Password right back. Having a cloud-based password decide reality is great, but most companies still have have an on-premises directory where their user assist. How does Microsoft support keeping a traditional on-premises active directory is synced with password changed in cloud? Passwords right back is a feature enabled with Azure AD Connect that allow password changes in the cloud to be written back to an existing on-premises directory in real time. For the authentication decision tree, here are some additional considerations for a few these decision points. First, should any users from any and all existing Azure AD tenants be able to sign in? Second, do you prefer to build the users in your Azure AD tenants as guests? Do you need an extensive support for boarding customization? Is creating a just in time unmanaged Azure AD tenant acceptable? This decision tree is intended starting point to understand your option, but there can be others or even combination of different options. For example, you can use Azure ADB to see and configure it to allow user sign in for multi-tenant Azure AD tenant with or without the traditional support for cell service sign out and social identity provides. Let's go for demonstration about implement directory synchronization.
you have any questions you can find me at my twitter thank you